first of all, we at Tennessee, I mean, we at uh, TCU are extremely excited about being here. Uh, the, the bowl week has been a, a, a tremendous amount of fun. I think the kids have certainly enjoyed it. Uh, the activities they've had planned for us are outstanding. The accommodations are superb. Uh, we feel very fortunate to be here and certainly enjoyed it up to this point. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Um, Sam, let's go to you next. Uh, talk about the battle for bowl week. How has that been for you so far? Are you guys enjoying that and getting into it? Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, last night, we got the race go cost the night before we got to play the Madden game. And even the day before, we got to see the offensive line and make milkshakes. So that's been pretty cool for us. All right, and you guys have the lead right now, two to one, so off to a good start. Yeah, we're winning at the moment. We have the belt. <laughs> All right, Chucky, um, looking at the bowl, looking ahead at the bowl week uh, schedule, what are, what are you looking forward to the most? What's what's that event that you think you'll have the most fun at? Um, the event I'm looking forward to is going to the hospital for the children. Um, just like my um, major is criminal justice. I mean, I graduate general studies, but my job, I want to be a, a probation officer for kids. So I love the kids. So. I'm looking forward to going to the hospital. Okay. Talk about Ole Miss's offense, uh, what you see out of them. Well, I, I think it starts with the quarterback. Uh, I think Bo is probably one of the toughest, most aggressive quarterbacks that we've played. Uh, I know he's fought through injury. Uh, he, he's a competitive guy. He's hard to get down. And I think one of the things that most makes him most dangerous when he scrambles, he's not trying scrambling to run. He's scrambling to throw, and that makes him an extremely dangerous um, opponent. Uh, I think the receivers are tall, they're rangy, they can run, uh, and, and any time you get deep balls downfield that are high, they have an opportunity to jump far. They come down with an awful lot of them. Uh, their offensive line is extremely big, they're extremely talented, and they, they, they are very quick. So, uh, all in all, and then when you blend in the running backs, the running backs are extremely elusive, and they are hard to get on the ground. You see them run through a lot of tackles. And so for us, it's going to be extremely, it's going to be a heck of a test, I think. Sam, could you talk a little bit about uh, Evan Ingram, the Ole Miss tight end coach referenced, and how Ole Miss uses him and what challenge that might present? No, he's, like Coach said, he's really not a tight end. He's a receiver. Those guys move in and out of formations, get a lot of one on ones. and. I compare him to probably a Jimmy Graham because the way that those guys use him, sometimes he's outside, sometimes he's inside. He's very fast to me when I watch film on him, and he blocks very well. So he's a tight end mixed with a receiver, but he's amazing. He's probably one of the best tight ends I have faced this year and probably last year also. Uh, this, ball, this ball week has been, uh, you know, terrific. Uh, all the activities we've been doing from, you know, the uh, – College Football Hall of Fame, that was pretty nice, uh, seeing all the legends and, you know, Hall of Famers. Uh, and last night was pretty cool. Uh, the, I don't know what it's called, but the race car. Uh, yeah, Andre. We to, yeah, that was pretty nice and uh, for us to win the build. So it's pretty good, you know, the uh, activities and everything that we've been doing, the ball sites for, uh, and the Chick-fil-A. It's been pretty good. You didn't wreck your car, did you? I know. I don't think I wrecked mine. I almost had one the fastest time, but I, I think I was in the top three of the fastest times. But all we right. ended up winning the basketball competition. There, yeah, you guys. All right. So, battle for bowl week. Uh, James, talk about what's been your favorite event so far for the battle for bowl week. Uh, I would have to say Andretti was uh, most definitely my favorite, even though I didn't go all that fast. But <laughs> it's all about safety with me. It was definitely a great experience. Slow down as best we can. 
James? Uh, yeah, that's definitely something that we've taken into account as far as practicing. Uh, we know we have to limit the big plays. We know we can't give them any, uh, any big plays, and we know we have to uh, just be ready for whatever they uh, bring to the table. All right. Kevin, same question. Yeah, basically, you know what they said, that's always part of the game plan is, you know, limit big plays. So, you know, we play, we play in the Big 12, so we're used to, you know, them taking, taking those shots and trying to take, make big plays. So it'll be nothing different for us. That's what, that's what we're used to seeing. All right. Is it easier to play a, a team that plays at a more conventional, more normal pace than some of the no huddle, rapid fire pace that you see in the Big 12? Uh, yeah, most definitely, you know, if, when they slow down the game, it gives us a chance to, you know, get our calls in, get our reads and everything like that, as opposed to, you know, quick huddle, you know, everything's moving fast and they're trying to, you know, quick strike you and everything like that. So, you know, for us to, you know, slow the game down, you know, get it to the pace that we want it to, it definitely helps out a lot. James? Yeah, just going off of what Kevin said, uh, it's all of our preparation has been uh, really slow as far as the difference to uh, when, we, when we prepare for a Big 12 team. Uh, just the change of pace is just going to be more, it's going to be uh, better for us, for us to get calls in, to get the right personnel in, and be uh, overall per, uh, ready for whatever they bring to the table. Chris, is it easier for you? Uh, uh, in my choice, I think it's easier for us to, you know, for us to go in the same way, uh, just like they said. Uh, the coaches prepare us for these type of things, so uh, we have great coaches, like what I always like to say. They prepare us for things like this uh, day in and day out. Uh, in the Big 12, uh, most offenses try to go pretty fast, so uh, if they try to use things like that, I think we'll be ready for it. Yeah, of course we were, uh, we were looking to be in the four-game playoff. It was uh, so it was a, would have been a great opportunity, but it uh, just didn't happen. And we knew we had to still have one more game left, and we had to get ready for it. And Kevin. Yeah, it's, it's an initial disappointment, but at the end of the day, you know, you have to play you know, the hand that you dealt in. You know, we were looking forward to a great game here in, in Atlanta, you know, in the Peach Bowl. So we're looking forward to a great game and, a, you know, a great win, hopefully.